everybody. You had voted in a poll I put up a while back for a What's on My iPhone video. And I'm finally getting around to recording it. Aren't you proud? Not really. I'm, I'm kidding. But we are getting around to the recording of the What's on My iPhone video. So not only am I going to take you through my home screen, but also my app library. Just because there's some stuff in my app library that isn't on my home screen for whatever reason. Maybe because I just didn't want it there or I tossed it out or whatever. Messages. Messages. So here's the first screen. Messages. Messages, that's just Apple's messaging app. We we know what that does. Calendar. Sunday, June 18. These are all Apple apps, so I I'm just gonna kinda scroll past them. Photos, camera, clock, weather, wallet, notes, reminders, iTunes, App Store, iTunes Store, App Store, help, settings, pawns app. That is not an Apple app. That is one of those survey app things, and you can also make money by sharing your internet connection and things like that. And it it does work. I can I can attest to, to the fact that it does work, and that you do get what you and that you do get what you've earned. I I can attest to that. I know some of you were having trouble with it. Uh, we'll we'll try to figure that out. Fruit Pot 2. Fruit Pot 2 is a game. It's like a little slot machine type thing. It's fun and can get addictive, but if you play it too much, it can also get boring really, really fast. If you want a demo on it, I don't care to do one. Battlefruit. Battlefruit is kind of like Battleship, but with fruit, basically, you're, I guess you're like trying to make some kind of smoothie or something like that, and you're trying to catch the pieces of fruit. And whoever catches all the fruit first wins. Wistopia. Wistopia is from the same company that made those other two games, and it's another slot machine type thing that I still haven't made much sense of. Twitter. One new item. Yes, I still have Twitter installed. For that rare person that has to get a hold of me on Twitter, even though everyone here has been told, not I'm just saying, not you guys... Specifically, I don't mean that, but everyone I know has been told I ditched Twitter, but there's this rare kind of person who still wants me to use it. Bluesky, recently updated. That, I may just end up trashing because it's no good. It was created by the guy who used to own Twitter or something like that, and it's supposed to be something like Mastodon, but it's an inaccessible, clunky mess. You know what, let's just go ahead and trash that. Edit mode, active edit mode, delete. Alert, re delete, remove, can, can't, remove, delete app. Alert, delete, can't, delete. Add widget, fin page, one, e Mona, fish, Mixcloud, Twitter, Mixcloud. I think we all know what Mixcloud does. I keep that so I can make sure that my shows get uploaded to the Mixcloud for the radio station. I, I have my own Mixcloud profile just for listening to stuff, which took me ages, but I follow the station so I can make sure things get uploaded. Because your computer saying things are uploaded and them actually being there can be two different things. So I like to check with my phone. On my own profile. Yes, I do tend to listen to my own shows. Not for any, you know, narcissistic reason or anything like that, but just kind of as a critique. I do critique myself very harshly. But that's what that's for. Fish. Cat life. Cat life is from the makers of Bit Life, and you play as a cat. It has recently been made more accessible, finally. Metadext. Oh, that was my Mastodon. One minute to the person who rested it. Now, John Lips Fish. Mona, 34 new items. Hey, we're coming to that right now. Mona, that's a Mastodon client, because as you guys know, I'm big on Mastodon these days. I have two Mastodon clients. Actually, I have three, but one of them I don't use. I was beta testing it, and I just haven't thrown it out yet. Espeak in beta. That is Espeak for iOS, which, believe it or not, is a thing. I have the test flight version installed. And it does work. Uh, I may make a video on that showing you how to set it up if you'd like. Page one of six. Adjustable. Phone. Mail. No unread emails. Safari. Music. And those four are going to be on the bottom of every screen, so I'm just showing them now. Page one of six. Page two. FaceTime. I think we all know what FaceTime does. Extras folder. 
Five apps. Calculator. Contact. Headed. Voice memos. Translate. Find my contacts. Calculator. That's all Apple stuff. Lyrically. Lyrically, that's a music lyric lookup thing that used to work really well, but doesn't work as well anymore. I've mainly kept it because I've always I'm so used to it being there. YouTube. If you guys don't know what YouTube is, then I think we have a problem. Considering you're watching this on YouTube. Tap tap C. Tap tap C is kind of fun to play with. It's supposed to snap pictures and help you identify what's in them. Sometimes it works, sometimes it just doesn't. But it's been around for years, and I love it, so I keep it. SCP Foundation Online and N5N in iCloud. I don't use that app anymore because I stopped reading stories like that, but I've kept the offloaded icon there just as kind of a placeholder because I have a specific order that I like things in. And some of you will note that the other day I had to restore my phone from an iCloud backup because that order got screwed up. And every time I tried to fix it, my phone would just create more and more folders and then everything was a mess. And that was the only way to fix it. Skype recently updated. I think we all know what Skype does. Metatext. Metatext is my primary Mastodon client. I like the way it looks. I like the way it behaves. It's kind of like the Twitter app when the Twitter app was good. Everything's very easy to find, very easy to click on. It supports voiceover actions, all that kind of awesome stuff. Unfortunately, it's not an active development anymore. Uh, the developer had to step away for personal reasons, which I totally understand. But I'm going to use it until it actually stops working. Watch. That's just the Apple Watch app. Books. Apple Books. eBay. Three new items. I think we all know what eBay is. I've got icon. I've got items there because I'm watching some stuff and waiting until I earn some funds to get it. So, yay. Seeing AI. That's Seeing AI from Microsoft. Most of us, I think, know what that app does, but for those who don't, um, it has a bunch of different scanners in it. You can use your camera to get text, read barcodes, recognize people. I think it has a currency scanner in it. It has light detection. I think in some of the Pro model phones, it has a LiDAR thing to help you sense what's around you. I don't have a pro level phone. Would I love to for for that capability? Yes. Is it gonna happen? Eh, no, probably not. Bard Mobile. Bard Mobile is the app from the National Library Service where you can read books. Some of you know that, some of you may not. I have some new people here who may not know a lot about some of these things, and I just don't want to confuse them. Kindle recently updated. Everyone knows what Kindle is, so I'm not even going to bother. Test Flight. Test Flight is the Apple thingamajig for beta testing apps. I have quite a few of those. Dice World. Dice World. Boy, do I ever regret installing that app sometimes. It's got a bunch of dice games in it. Yahtzee, Farkle, uh, Threes, Pig, 1424, and oh gosh, I don't even know how to pronounce that other one. But you can play with your friends and all that kind of fun stuff. I've got somebody, I know somebody that for a while back tried to challenge me to like 10 games of Yahtzee at the same time. And I'm like, no. Voice Dream Reader, recently updated. Voice Dream Reader is an awesome app. If you got it before a couple of months ago. A couple of months ago, it was acquired by a new company, and they now make you pay a subscription for a $15 app. Actually, when I bought it the first time, it was only $10, but then I had to buy it again because I'm using a different Apple ID than I was in those days, and then it was $14, or not $14, $15. So I spent $25 on it, but it's a good app, but I just don't see $60 a year for it. I don't. Discord. Beta. I think... All of us by now know what Discord does. Home. That's the Apple Home app I use to control my home pods and things like that. Clubhouse. Two new items. Don't know why those two new items are still there. I still haven't figured that one out yet. 
But Clubhouse, I think most of us know what Clubhouse is. It's the audio social network where you go talk to people. And stuff and where my Jeopardy club lives. Podcasters. That's Spotify for podcasters. Previously Anchor. That's where I record my podcasts and things like that. Both of them. And that's where they're both hosted through. Still mad at them for being, pulling a YouTube and a Twitch and making monetization only available for people that have a crap load of listeners. Chat. That's Google Chat, the replacement for Google Hangouts. You can just text your friends and all that kind of goody-goody. WhatsApp. We all know what WhatsApp is. I use that for stuff that I don't think I'm allowed to talk about here. Well, if I am, I don't know about it, but. I think I can safely say I use it for, you know, radio stuff and things like that. Dystopia. Beta. One new item. I don't know why that has an item on it. That's Dystopia. That's a Reddit client that has been sitting idle for the past week. And it's driving me crazy. For those of you who don't know, I've always, since I signed up, I've been a big Reddit nut. I love to sit and scroll. Ask Reddit is like one of my favorite things ever. But thanks to the CEO having more faces than a Rubik's Cube and being a pain in the patootie, I haven't been on Reddit in a week. And it means I'm missing a lot of stats for my Jeopardy. It means I have nothing to mindlessly scroll at night when I can't sleep. And it's kind of driving me nuts up. Page two, page two, stack of books, BitLife. BitLife. We've played this on here before. It's a life simulator game. It's all kinds of fun. It's delightful. We may have to revisit it because there's been so much added and changed since we played it before. Oh, dog life. Dog life is just like bit life except you play as a dog. And you remember on my first page we had cat life. All from the same people. Genius. Genius is another song lyric lookup thingy that... I, ah, be quiet voiceover. My watch was shattering. Uh, Genius works a lot better than Lyrically these days, I find, but I keep them both around because Lyrically does have its uses, and like I said, I'm just used to having it there. Fitness. That's the Apple Fitness app. I have it mainly because I have an Apple Watch. Support. That's the Apple Support app for getting help if things break. Developer. The Apple Developer app. As we all know, WWDC was... Almost two weeks ago now, and it was epic. Messenger. Facebook Messenger. One Step Reader. One Step Reader, formerly KNFB Reader, which I still tend to call it because that's what I knew it as for years. You take a picture of your document, it scans it, it reads it to you. I actually got my copy for free when I started college. The, the state kind of was nice and took care of it for me. Yay. Because I'm not paying $100 for one app. That's stupid. I don't mind paying for software. Let's get let's get this on the table right now. I don't mind paying for software. What I do mind is paying an unreasonable price for software. Discover. Discover, that's for my bank account. You don't need to know any more than that. Team Talk. Most of us, I think, here know what Team Talk does. Chat client thingy. You can run your own servers. Blah, blah, blah. Facebook. I think we all know what Facebook is by now. Disney Plus. Disney Plus. I use that service. I'm a huge Disney nut, as some of you know. Research. Six new items. Apple Research. And I need to go through and clean out that stuff because I have a lot of tasks to do. Pandora. I think we all know what Pandora does. Cash App. I've got my Cash App. Um, Cash App is kind of like PayPal for anybody who doesn't know. You can send money to your friends and all that. Stack of, stack ah. of cash app. Ears Fortune Wheel. Ears Fortune Wheel used to be a blindfold thingy. It's a Wheel of Fortune game, basically. Shortcuts. Shortcuts, the Apple Shortcuts app. Twitch. Twitch. Um, I have Twitch. Some of you guys watch me on Twitch. Game streaming, that kind of awesome stuff. I think we all know what Twitch does. Maps. Apple Maps. I don't know why I still have that. I think I was playing with it. TV. Apple TV. I keep that just in case. Smule. 
That's a karaoke app that you have to pay for most of the tracks in, but I keep it for the ones that I can sing because some of them are fun. No Clue. No Clue is a party quiz game. It's kind of like it's kind of like Jackbox, but not all that much. Because the gameplay is different and it's just like, I don't exactly know how it works. I've never gotten to play it. Google TV. That needs Edit to go. That's just an app I was playing with. Delete. It's Google TV. Alert. Remove delete. It's kind of like if you have a Roku or something like that, how it'll Alert. put all your delete, stuff delete, together. Delete, yeah, that app does the same thing, button, but I don't need it. Hey, Instagram. No I was just playing with it. Instagram. I think we all know what Instagram does. I finally got back into mine, so if you guys want to follow me over there, it's at evilcookies98. Page three of six. Hey, Amazon Alexa. One sec. Amazon Alexa, that's the app for managing your Echo devices, and you can also talk to Alexa and things like that. If you're wondering what I was doing, I was turning the mic off on my Echo so it didn't get triggered. Mac Tracker. Mac Tracker is awesome. You can view the history, you can view the specs and things like that of every Apple product ever. I like to play with the startup sounds on the old Macs. I think it's fun. PayPal. If you don't know what PayPal does, then I really can't help you. I mean, it's 2023. I think we all know what PayPal does. Ah, stupid cursor. Google Home, that will help you manage your Google Home and Google Nest devices. There, We have a Nest Hub in the house, so that's why I have that. Assistant in iCloud. That's the Google Assistant that I was playing with before I got a Google Home. You can see it's sitting in iCloud just in case I ever need it. Tap Manager. Tap Manager is for my tap Bluetooth keyboard that I've got. I think they finally fixed voiceover mode so that I can use it again. I may do a video on that if you guys want, although I did put up a podcast about it on Apple this a few years back. Tap Allowed. Tap Allowed teaches you how to type with it. In a very fun and hilarious manner. Meet original. That's Google Meet. Um, I think we all know what that does. It's like Skype and Zoom and things like that. Patreon. That's the Patreon app, which I find clunky at best and unusable at most because it likes to crash a lot. That's for working with Patreon and things like that, if you hadn't figured that out yet. Speaking of Patreon, cheap plug. If you want to, you know, look at my Patreon, that is patreon.com forward slash, all one word, the evil chocolate cookie. Google, Google Translate ah. Meet, hey, SoundCloud. SoundCloud, I love. I like to listen to a lot of music on that. A lot of independent artists and stuff like that tend to upload their stuff, and some more established ones will upload their stuff behind a paywall, which I don't pay for because it's expensive. For a music service, it's expensive. Roku. That's the that's the Roku app, so I can access the Roku channel. They've got some stuff that I like to watch, and I refuse to own a Roku device because the screen reader sounds like dirt, and the voice on it annoys the crap out of me to no end. Pluto TV. Now Pluto TV is one of the best apps ever. You can watch anything on their service for zero dollars, ever. No, you never have to pay them. And they have a 24-hour Jeopardy channel, which I love. Hulu. I think we all know what Hulu does by now. Spotify. And Spotify. TikTok. And TikTok. If you want to follow me over there, I'm under the evil chocolate cookie. Netflix. One new Same app. with Netflix. Files. That's the Apple Files app where you can get to your stuff on your... When you're... Uh, where you can get to stuff you've saved on your phone and iCloud Drive, all that kind of goody-goody. Vision. Envision AI, it's kind of like seeing AI, but sometimes it works a little better. Especially where boot camping your computer is involved. That's actually how I boot camped this computer. I had my phone with Envision AI open, pointed at the screen in short text mode, and it would read everything that popped up. Matchmaker FM. Matchmaker FM, no, that's not a dating service. That is for podcasters who are looking for someone to appear on their podcast. Or for people who want to be on someone else's podcast looking for a podcast to be on. I haven't had much luck with it yet. Roblox. Recently updated. Roblox. That is not accessible. I installed it to see if it was, and I've just never removed it. 
mainly because of the amount of work my sister put into building my avatar. J Tools. J Tools is a Jeopardy score tracker app. And it is awesome. Google Translate. Google Translate, I keep to play with. If you've seen the Google Translate sings YouTube videos, you know how funny they are, and I try to make my own stupid Google Translate stuff. Google. That's a Google search app that I accidentally downloaded last Any night. Mode. Delete. And it's going bye bye Alert. right now. Delete app. Alert. Can't delete. Add widget. But a fit page four of six. Page five. Prime video. Amazon Prime Video. I think we all know what that does. Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. Amazon. Amazon Shopping. We know what that does. Speed test. That's the speed test app for testing your internet speeds and things like that. I've kept that around since our internet was slower than Methuselah's grandfather. PS app. That's the PlayStation app. I got that to create an account, and I've never used it since. OneDrive in iCloud. I don't know why that's in iCloud. It shouldn't be. OneDrive loading 1%. One but that's Microsoft OneDrive. You can store stuff in there. I've got some if stuff in there. Good Pods. Good Pods is kind of clunky, but I keep it because they're just kind of Getting started, they're still relatively new. It's like Goodreads, if you know what that is for podcasts. Be My Eyes. Be My Eyes. Um, for those who don't know, it's... If you're blind, you can call someone, one of the volunteers that they have to help you see something. Like if you need somebody to read a paper for you or help you label your groceries or anything like that. You can use it for stuff like that. Akinator. Akinator is a game. And... It's kind of an awesome game. Um, that game is actually the reason for the I Lost on Jeopardy parody that came out on the Evil Chocolate Crab Bag the other day. Goodreads. Goodreads is to keep track of the books you've read and to review them and stuff like that. Google Voice. Nine new items. Good lord, I need to clean out my Google Voice. Google Voice is, it gives you basically like a, a second number that you can use for calling and texting and things like that. Right now, Google Voice is what I've got, so everything's tied to it, and it's kind of full of junk. Etsy. Etsy. My sister and I, if you'll remember, we have an Etsy shop, although there's nothing in it, thanks to Crunchyroll taking our stuff down. Sell on Etsy. That goes right along with the Etsy app. Audible. I think everyone here knows what Audible does, so I don't think I really need to explain that one. VLC. VLC Media Player, I keep that in case I download, like, an audio-described movie or something like that that's in AUG format and my phone can't play it. VLC can. Soundwave in iCloud. Soundwave, it's kind of a, a kind of TikTok for audio. But I stopped using it a lot because they've set it up in such a way that you can only post three times a day. Lucid Dream. That's a guided meditation thing I have to practice lucid dreaming. Don't ask me why, I just think it's interesting. VPN Super Unlimited Proxy. That's a VPN that I use for a variety of things. Nothing, you know, malicious or anything like that. Just mainly getting around geoblocks for, you know, videos I want to watch that are geoblocked in the US because YouTube wants to be dumb. Target. It's the Target app. I have a Target account because I have a Target gift card that I've never used. That I got for participating in some kind of research study. Orange Tree. Orange Tree is another game that really gets kind of tedious the longer you play it. Poor Iron. That, I'm not exactly sure how you're actually supposed to pronounce that word. That's another Jeopardy scoring app that I've played with. I find I like JTools a little better. This one does have a daily double button, unlike JTools, but... I find the interface in JTools a little bit easier to master. Tune in radio. I think most of us know what Tune in radio does. I have that because they have Jeopardy stations now. ABC. Edit mode. Active edit That's mode. the ABC Start app. Delete. I downloaded Alert. that to watch Read Celebrity delete. Jeopardy. Delete app. But Alert. Delete. Cancel. Delete. I found Alert. out that the episodes are only edit. uploaded a week after they air. Tune which would put me consistently a week behind, which was pointless. Overcast. Overcast is a podcast player that I've been messing with. 
Page five of six. A page six of six. All right, on to the last page. Triple. Triple is a Twitter esque social network that has zero accessibility, and I'm just holding out the hope that they'll fix it. Because their their mission is an admirable one. They want a social media where people can be themselves and do so in a safe manner. Why they don't just join Mastodon is beyond me. But eh, not for me to judge. Quora, six new items. I love scrolling through stupid stuff on Quora. Unfortunately, the app is not the most accessible thing in the world. Paramount Plus. I think we all know what Paramount Plus is. It's the streaming service that uh, CBS uses for all their original stuff and anything else that they have rights to. Odyssey. Odyssey, it's kind of like a YouTube replacement thing. I haven't played with it too much. YT Studio. YouTube Studio. That's to help fix your videos and appeal stupid community guidelines claims like the one that got thrown at me a few weeks ago. I'm still bitter over that, especially because when I asked what I could do to avoid it, why don't you just read the rules and see how you can avoid getting community guidelines violations in the future, even though they know I didn't do anything? Page ah. soundscape. Come back here. Okay, Dropbox. We all know what Dropbox is. Authenticator. Google Authenticator, I use that as a two-factor authentication thing because I... Not everything I have access to will take my Google Voice number, and I have to authenticate it somehow, so I use that. Blindfold tap and swipe game. Blindfold tap and swipe game. It's kind of a Bop It-esque thing, but I like Bop It so much better. Life Simulator. Life Simulator is another life simulation game. It's more of a clicker, and it's not as interactive as BitLife, but you can make a lot of money in this game rather quickly if you know what you're doing, so I like to play with it. Liberty. Libby is what Overdrive used to be. I hate the Libby app, but the Overdrive app has since been discontinued, so I'm stuck with it. It allows you to check out books from your local library if you have a library card and things like that. Soundscape. That's Microsoft Soundscape, which has since been discontinued. I don't exactly know why I have it. I don't have a cause to use it, but I, I have it. YouTube TV. I don't know why I have that either. Edit mode. Still lead. So let's just trash it. I think we all know what YouTube TV does. It's the New York Times app. I use that when I remember it for playing Wordle. Tusker is another Mastodon client. That's the other one I was telling you about that I beta tested and then just never deleted. Well, bye-bye, Mr. App. Finish HW Buddy Libby South NY Time Daily Motion recently updated. Daily Motion, I have that because some people upload game show episodes, and they're not always as picky as YouTube. HW Buddy. That's the Humanware Buddy app for getting help with Humanware products, and sometimes you can find user guides and things like that in there. I like to read user guides. Don't ask me why. Zoom. I think we all know what Zoom is. I keep it because there's the odd time when I need to use Zoom. Mona Beta in iCloud. Edit mode. That can go. Delete. That's the beta version Alert. of Mona, Alert. which I already Alert. showed you. Delete app. Alert. Delete. Can't delete. Add widget. Fin Call Annie. Chat. Text me. Zoom. Zoom. Text me. Text me is another VOIP service. Some things that won't take a Google voice number will take a text me number. Chat GPT. I think by now we all know what Chat GPT does. Call Annie. That's another AI thing that I like to play with, and actually it does have some good ideas sometimes. Some people think it's creepy. I think it's kind of fun. Dolores, recently That's updated. another AI thing that you can talk to. I haven't played with it too much. Page six of six, and there's the end of my home screen. App, app library, app library, search field. Now it's time to go through the app library, and my arms are getting sore. I'm holding them at that weird angle. Cancel. Section of Echinator, Amazon. Amazon app store, Apple store, oh, Apple store. the Apple Store app. I had that. Um, I think I've had it since I bought my AirTag. You can buy stuff from Apple directly through the app. Assistant. Audible. Audiobooks. Audiobooks is another app. 
for listening to audiobooks. Uh, mostly from the LibriVox project. Buzz is this weird walkie. Or it's not precisely weird. It's weird in the fact that it's always running, but other than that, it's really, really cool. Um, I got this sent to me to try out. I haven't played much with it yet because I don't know a lot of people that use it. But so far it seems kind of cool. C. Calculator. Calendar. Call Annie. Camera. Cash app. Chat. Chat GPT. Circus Master Revenge. Circus Master's Revenge is a game that unfortunately doesn't appear to work anymore because you have to log in just to play and it's obnoxious and I don't want to log in just to play the stupid game and it won't let you log in through Facebook or anything anymore. Club. Clubhouse. Jokes. That's a computer jokes app that I just kind of play with it sometimes when I'm bored. Contacts. Crafting Kingdom. Crafting Kingdom is a clicker type game. I may do a video on it if you guys really want me to, but personally, once you play it for a long enough amount of time, it gets kind of tedious. D. Daily Motion Developer. Dice World. Discord. Discover. Disney Plus, Dolores, Dropbox, Dusk. Dusk is another package of games that has since been removed from the App Store, so I'm glad I have it. It's it's kind of fun. You can use like your phone accelerometer and stuff like that to play games. It's it's definitely interesting. Dystopia. E. Ears Forge at eBay. Envision. East Begin. Etsy. Express. That's Stripe Express. I use that for my podcast monetization when I actually had it. Just to keep an eye on my funds. F. Facebook. FaceTime. Feedback. That's the Feedback Assistant app because I'm beta testing iOS 17. I have that. Fear. Fear is another pretty awesome game. It's an avoid the zombies and anything else that tries to kill you type thing until it gets so fast that you can't keep up. Files. Find more. I don't know why I still have that. That's the old flick type keyboard app that has since been discontinued. Fruit Pot 2. G. Galactic Colonies. Galactic Colonies is from the same people who made Crafting Kingdom, and it's another clicker, idle waiting type thing. Genius. Good Pots. Good Red. Google Home. Google Translate. H. Help. Home. Hulu. H. Dub. I. Instagram iTunes Store, J, J, Tool, K, Kindle, L, Libby, Like, Sip, Listeners. Listeners? I'm not exactly sure what that does. I think I installed it one day to play with it and promptly forgot about it. Lucid Dream, Lyrically, M, Mac Trucker, Mail, Maps, Match Make, Meet, Origin, Messages, Messenger, Metadext, Mixcloud, Mona, Music, My Baby Sim 2. That's a game that has since been discontinued, but I still have it because I had gotten it before. It's very fun, but very obnoxious when it needs attention in the middle of the night. N. Netflix. No clue. Notes. NY Time. O. Odyssey. OneDrive. One Step Reader. Orange Trip. Overcast. P. Pandora. Paramount. P Patreon. Pawns App. PayPal. Phone. Photos, Pluto T, Podcast, Podcast, Prime Video, PSF, Q, Quora, R, Reminders, Research, Roblox, Roku, RS Games. RS Games is a blindfold app. It's an RS Games client for the iPhone that I never use because you have to pay 50 bucks to unlock all the games and I'm not doing that. I'm not paying for a free service. RS Games everywhere else is 100% free. I'm not paying for it. Like, I wouldn't mind donating to help them. That's a whole different story. If I had the funds, I would 100% be willing to share. But I am not paying 50 bucks just to access a service that's free on every other platform. That's stupid. S. Safari. SCP found it. Seeing AI. Sell on Etsy. Settings. Shake. Short. Shake. Shake is an audio communication app. You do like these 30 second sound bites and you can do challenges and ask stupid questions. It's it's kind of fun. The time is now 6 p.m. Skype. Smule. SoundCloud. Soundscape. Soundwave. Speed test. Spotify. Spotify. 
Try again. Zero about thirty-one. Mixcloud. And my first glitched page out. Page, 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 six page showing up. App library. App live audible. Rose app library. Rose fifteen to cap G cap C chat. Rose to wrote 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 Rose to Google Translate. Rose wrote wrote Mixcloud. Rose eight wrote Pond app. The podcast. Rose wrote Skype. Sound Spotify support. T tap allowed. Tap 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 C target. Team talk. Telegram. Telegram. I think we all know what that is by now. I like Telegram. Telegram's cool. Telegram. Test flight. Text me. TikTok. Translate. Tribble. Tune and rip. TV. Twitch. Twitter. V. VL. Voice. Voice dream. Voice memos. VPN. Soup. W. Wallet. Watch. Weather. Wistopia. WhatsApp. Wisdom. Why? Wisdom. Wisdom is, uh... Kind of like Vorail, if you remember back in the day, you ask questions, you get answers. Wisdom is kind of like that. Walk YouTube, YT, Z, Zoom, number sign, fish, stack of bone, bone. And that's one. all of my apps. Page, page six of showing up. Ah, no. Page one of six, page two of six. So that's the end of this video. That was a lot of apps. I apologize. So I'll see you folks in the next video.